Hello! Today we will be starting a new series of tutorials. Within this new series we will be covering HTML as well as CSS, Cascading Style Sheets. Now um, CSS is basically used to add styles to HTML elements. Um, for instance we can add style to a, a paragraph element which will probably change the, 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 the font color of the, uh, the text within the element. We can also add styles to um, a, an input box which can we can change the size of the input box, we can change it to the height, the width. We can add um, CSS styles to, to many different elements um, on the web page. Um, so uh, let's get on with it. Okay now to, to start out with CSS we need to add a, a style tag to within the head area of, the, of our web page. So we go style Okay, open style. For, we need to add two style tags. Okay, close style. Um, within uh, the first style tag, we're going to add um, an attribute of type. Okay, we're going to say type is equal to text slash CSS. Tells the browser that we will be working with CSS. Okay, and all our CSS code will be placed within um, the within the style the two style tags right here okay so let's create an element within our body okay let's create a div element okay now one of the basic ways to to um, identify an element on 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 the page is to add, give it an ID attribute so we're going to give it an ID and we're going to come up with any name we want to uh, to refer to this this div. Now the ID attribute is a unique, a unique attribute. That means that there can only be one um, ID. Okay, uh, but we could have an ID, an, a different ID for for each element we want to add a style to. Okay, so let's give this ID of uh, let's say uh, box one. Okay, now to grab to refer to this ID, um, this div element here with an ID of box one. We need to uh, start out with a CSS selector, okay, within our um, style tags, okay. So we go the to refer to the ID. You go, you first type in pound, okay. Then the name, the 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 value here of the attribute, which is box one. So we say pound box one, okay. And then we add curly brace, curly brackets, and then we we create um, a series of um, declarations. Okay, so we uh, in the in that box with, within the, the the curly brackets, we can add our first statement, which would be let's say, um, let's give it a background color, B A C K. Okay, and let's give it a black background color of black. Okay, now we can type in the word black, or we can also type in the the the, the number. Which is the number of representation of of the the, the color black, which is um, zero pound zero zero zero. Okay, we control S to save and let's preview this in our browser. Okay, we need to add text to this. To um, as you can see here, it didn't show in the browser because we have no text within our um, our div element here. So we let's put in some text. Hello world. Okay, control S to save. And let's go back to our browser. As you can see here, the, the let's, let's expand this. As you can see here, the div. This is the div we, we created. Um, it is displayed in block form because that's the default um, display for any div element. It's displayed in block form right here. Okay, and um, we can also and the, the hello world. See, the hello world is not showing because the the text is black as well. However, we can um, add a color to this text. We can say, we can say within our box, um, we can say color, right? To refer to the text um, within the element, and we can say we could give the color of white, um, which is f f f f six s. Okay, Control S to save. Let's preview this. As we can see here, hello world. The text is um, displayed in white. Okay, we could add a size to this div. Let's go width. Let's say width is uh, 500px. 
and we could give it a height as well a height of let's say uh, 40 px Control s to save and let's preview this in the browser as you can see here the div is changed the size of the dig is changed to a width of um, 600 px as we have 500 px and the height is 40 px and the text here is within the, the, the div element okay we can also give that div some padding okay padding let's say um, 10 px all the way around okay now what the padding would do like I'm displayed here as you can see here the padding um, would add 10 px within within the, the div element so we're going to add 10 px to the to the left and 10 px to the top, 10 px to the, to the bottom. So the text will be displayed 10 px away from the div. Let's take out the 10 px. Let's close this out. Take the 10 px out to show it how it originally looked. I'll refresh this. As you can see here, the pattern is removed and the text is um, pushed back to the edge of the div. So let's add our pattern back. Okay, control S to save, refresh, and the padding, as you can see here, the, the text is pushed in um, by, by 10 px. Okay, um, the, now that 10 px is added to the original size of the, the div element. Okay, so the div element will be a little, will be 10, will be 10 px to the top, left, and right, and bottom, 10 px larger than or, what it originally, um, originally was. Okay, we can add a border to this div. Okay, a border, let's say we can give it a, a border thickness of 5px. We can also give it um, a type of border we want. Let's say we give it a border of solid. It's a solid thickness. And also we can give it a, um, a color. Let's say red. Control S to save, refresh this. As you can see here, our border is now red. Okay, let's expand this. As you can see here, our border um, is now red. So, um, yeah, basically this is this is this is a minimum. This is a minimum amount of styles you can you can add a, a lot more styles to this to this div element. Uh, we will be continuing with uh, with further styles in our, in further tutorials. Okay, so what I'm going to end here for this tutorial, um, I thank you for this introductory tutorial, and thank you for watching, and do continue to view the tutorials, and please ensure that you do subscribe. Thank you.